Hello everyone, welcome back to POA for you. Uh, my name is Leroy and today I'll be sharing with you how I would approach specimen paper 2021 and A levels paper 2 question 3. This is uh, this question is on the topic of bank reconciliation. I've got a few tips and tricks that hopefully would help you in your studies and um, let's get right into it and just see how it works for you. So the, the question has a, a standard format whereby it shares with you the cash at bank account of Peng's business and this represents what Peng's records are of his or her bank account movement. Then the bank statement represents what Peng's bank is representing as the movement for the uh, Peng's bank account, right? Um, and Ideally, in the ideal world, they should be mirror image. So you could see a bit of the mirror image happening. You know, it starts off with one, two, one, nine, two, five in both statements. So Peng's own record says that the beginning balance is one, nine, two, five. The bank also says the same. And that's checked out. And uh, Peng's uh, uh, says that, you know, he or she paid rent of 750 and the bank also says that the rent has the, the payments was recorded as well. So in here, we are trying to identify the discrepancies whereby you have a movement in Peng's uh, records, but not in the bank statement or movement in the bank statement that is not in Peng's records. So let's to find a discrepancy. Let's maybe take out the things that are similar then the discrepancies will be highlighted, right? So I see 750, oops, I see 750. I'm going to cross it out. I'm going to cross out the 750. I see that 500, I'm going to cross it out at both sides. 625, yes, I see it at both sides too. I'm going to cross it out. 1005, I see it at 1005, I'm going to cross it out. 892, yes, I see that here as well. I'm going to cross it out. 125, I'm going to cross it out. 324. Hmm, I don't see this, so I'm gonna circle it. Uh 1000, yes, I see it. I'm gonna cross it out. And 257, I don't see it on the bank statement, so I'm gonna circle this. And 72, I don't see it in Peg's record, so I'm gonna circle this. So the to answer this question, you've got to zero in on the items that you circle. This is a straightforward as straightforward as it is. So I'm going to prepare the answers and hopefully you can um, get some insights on this, right? So the first question, cash at bank. This cash at bank account stops at 9.93, right? And they would like you to uh, have an updated balance, right? To And all you need to do is to start at 9.93. So you've got to put a date, 2020. This is July 31st because you're preparing it as of the last date, July 31st. You've got a balance brought down and then it's 9.93, it's debit, all right? And then you, at the same day, July 31st, you're going to input whatever that you see in the bank statement that is not represented in the cash at bank account, which is bank charges, right? So you have bank charges and, and this is a payment. So you're going to represent it as a credit because bank is debit nature and anything that is a payment reduces the bank account balance. So, um, you know, it, it should be represented on the credit side since bank is a debit nature item. And then you're going to minus this and this is your final uh, balance and August 1st, the next day, you will have a balance put down of 921 mm, debit. That's it, right? So three marks is in the bank just by representing what is the item that Peng missed out. Next, bank reconciliation. They've asked you to prepare, prepare a bank reconciliation statement. So this bank reconciliation statement is to reconcile this 988 till to 921 uh, and understand or to represent or, or to, to help the reader understand why there's a difference between the number in the bank statement versus what Peng has in his or her books of 921. So let's see how I present this, yeah? So credit balance as per bank statement. 
Okay, that's a credit balances per bank statement of 921. Then I will add uh, checks, not checks, not yet uh, credited. Okay, and checks not yet credited is shame. What, 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 is, what does that mean? 257. Um, so in here, we have received a check from Sheng and we, based on the check that Sheng has given us, we have entered into Peng's bank account as a, a, a debit, right? As, as an inflow to increase the bank balance that we have because check, uh, Sheng paid us um, uh, 257, right? Uh, through check. But when we brought it to the bank, um, as of 31st of uh, July, the bank may not have cleared the check and this check uh, that they, we have brought to the bank to deposit uh, may be in the process of getting cleared by the bank. So as of the 31st of July, we don't see this check here, right? So that's the reason why, you know, checks that are deposited in the bank may not have it may not be represented in the bank statement uh, uh, at the end of the month. And usually you would see that these checks are very close to the end of the month, right? So we received it on the 29th of the month. The next thing is to less checks not yet uh, presented, right? Um, and this is one, yeah. And this is 324. So checks not yet presented is when we have paid Vanya a certain amount, 324 in this case. Uh, and so we've recorded this payment in our cash at bank account. Um, but when we look at the bank statement, this payment is not reflected at all. And that's because Vanya may not have brought the check to his bank to clear the amount, uh, to, get, to get the amount paid into his bank account. Maybe the check that we paid Vanya is sitting in his drawer. Um, so that's why it's not presented to the bank uh, and that's why the term you know checks not yet presented so then the final amount that we see here let's work this mathematically this plus this minus this oops I beg your pardon this should be credit balances with bank statement is 988 right uh, because this should be this number should be from here all right, this is the starting point, not 921, I beg your pardon. Um, so anyway, the output of this is 921, 988 plus 257 minus 321. And this would be debit balance as per updated uh, cash at bank account. Okay, and that's it. That's, we've completed this bank reconciliation statement. Um, so uh, you, you just got to remember this format, right? Uh, first start with bank statement, pick up the bank statement amount from the last number here. Then you add checks that is not yet credited. So you add something that's not yet credited, put a C uh, and then less something that's uh, checks that are not presented. So C comes uh, first before P. So if you have troubles and sometimes you get confused, um, just remember C comes before P and put credited first uh, before presented. And uh, the ones that are uh, credited is always on the debit side. The ones that's presented is always on the credit side. Okay. Um, part C, state two reasons why it's important for a business to prepare a bank reconciliation statement. So reason one uh, helps detect error uh, because sometimes if you, um, example, if you record uh, payments as receipts, uh, this could be detected. Detected when comparing to bank statements, right? So if, uh, for example, if the um, payment of rent, 750, you incorrectly put it as a debit side, this will be flagged out when you compare it with your bank statement. Okay, so that's one. Two, 
um, it's to identify uh, transactions that the business may have missed out. Uh, so example, bank charges that are auto deducted, uh, deducted by bank. Okay, because bank normally just auto deducts certain uh, monthly charges like fees or you know in this case bank charges and sometimes the business may forget to account for that okay um, the next thing objectivity theory um, objectivity theory reminds me of something uh, on you know making sure that whatever transactions that go through in the business it has to be coming from verifiable uh, sources so uh, documents that are so so transactions uh, that are recorded uh, should be very viable right example um if you have a say a uh, receipt uh cash uh yeah cash receipt this should come from uh, should be supported by banking slips all right that that's about it for this question uh it's a um total of uh what 13 marks and uh it should come with some standard it comes with some standard tips and tricks hopefully that's useful try it out and see whether you come to the same conclusion if you don't then rewatch the video and hopefully that helps you figure it out uh if not you know you always post a question on this channel or uh you could email me at poa for you at gmail.com so thanks so much for watching it's been a great pleasure sharing and uh good luck all the best.